and welcome to another pen video from me, Penultimate Dave. So, I have another Visconti with me today. This is a Visconti I've had in my collection for, I think, almost a couple of years now. So, let me unbox. It comes in this uh, old style uh, box, Visconti box or Visconti sleeve. And then, when you take the box out, you have this uh, plastic clamshell box and it's a slimline box here from Visconti not with the drawer pull out so if I open this up you'll see the pen now a lot of time you will also get this booklet and I just had this booklet out of the case and this is just a, a brochure basically of uh, the Visconti pens that are in the collection but here you'll see uh, in the faux leather here the Visconti logo and then you'll see the uh, pen here. Now, this is the Visconti Cherry Club Blossom. Now, this is a pen that I have had seen for a while. And it doesn't come up all that often for sale. And I bought this second hand. I got it for uh, quite a good price. But you'll see here, this material is lovely. There's a lot of white chatoyance going on here in the white there. And then you'll see this, like, veins of cherry going through the body of the pen. So this is a Visconti Opera. So it is a small size uh, pen. It's not the Opera Master. Now, you have the standard Visconti Bridge Clip, which is uh, very useful there. You have a my pen finial as well you can use with a magnet and then the pen itself tapers up to the cap band and then tapers down to the what would be the blind cap there now some of these operas uh, have the hook safe lock system on and some are screw threads this is a screw thread version and if i unscrew it you'll see here the the pen now if i unscrew this it is a cartridge converter comes with the standard visconti converter there and this did come originally with a fine nib and i put one of my spare um medium nibs now it, it's a 23 carat palladium nib and i put a 1.3 millimeter stub nib in here instead uh, because I do like my stubs and for this I find it very good but look at the the pattern here on the body of the material it's actually quite a lovely sort of cherry red and hence the the cherry blossom name but uh, and you do actually see some of the red here bleeding into the white in the material but I think that actually makes it look quite nice so for me this is a is a nice pen it's a pen I've had in my collection for now, I think, a couple of years. It's a pen that I I do like, and especially with a 1.3mm stub nib. So let's do a um, size check and weight. So in terms of size, the pen is about 140mm in length. The cap is about 63mm in length. And then the tip of the tines we are looking at about 130 millimeters now you'll see here that because it's an opera it has this squaring of the circle approach now I always thought that this would actually be quite uncomfortable before I started buying operas and opera masters uh, that Visconti make but I actually find that it really isn't because it's really uh, more of, as Visconti called it, a squaring of the circle. So it's a circle with edges squared off or a square with the corners rounded off um, is, is the other way to look at it. So for me, I find this is actually quite a comfortable pen to write with and it's not that heavy. But let's do a weight check and we can see how heavy that is. So this is inked up. The full weight of the pen is around about 38 and a half grams the weight of the cap is just under 14 grams 
and the weight of the pen is almost 20 grams. So it's quite a, a lightweight pen compared to other pens that I have in my collection. So let's do a comparison with other pens. So from left to right we have the Pilot Vanishing Point Rodden Galaxy, we have a Twisby Diamond 580 AL, we have the Scribo Phil, we have the Pelican M800 Royal Gold Rodden, we have the Visconti Opera Master, this is the River Thames, we have the Visconti Opera Club Cherry Blossom, we have the Visconti Homo Sapiens Bronze Swirl, we have an Armando Simone Club Bologna Extra Arco Brown, we have a Classic Pens LM1 and a Classic Pens LB5. So let's do a writing sample. This is the Visconti, and it's the Opera Club, and it's the Cherry Blossom. And it is a 23 carat palladium, and it is a uh, 1.3 millimeter stub. Now, in terms of line variation, you are not going to get a lot coming out of uh, the the pen. Now, there are some hard starts on this pen. Now. I find with some ink I get more hard starts than others. Uh, this paper is a little bit waxy as well so that might be why. Now you're not really going to get much of a difference there in terms of line variation because it is a stub. Now a wetness test. Uh, this is a very wet ink. Now this ink is an ink that I don't use a lot and it is Blackstone Yuluru Red. You can see there there's a little bit of a hard start there on some of the downstrokes. Now this nib probably does need to be smoothed out a little bit more. Um, I do find though that if I use other inks in this, typically they don't hard start. I find Blackstone inks typically do hard start in some of my Viscontis a little bit more than other inks. But for me, I like how this pen writes. It's a very wet pen. Uh, I like the ink as well. Uh, and it's a red ink that I really haven't used a lot lately. And it's an ink that I need to go back to using. And I think this ink pairs well with the pen. And I think I will probably look at maybe another red and see if I get less hard starts on uh, the nib uh, than I do with, with this uh, particular ink. But that's a review of the Visconti Opera Club Cherry Blossom. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you on the next pen video. Bye-bye.